everybody, welcome back. Um, I've got two journals finally completed to share with you guys today. These are a design team project for Artie Mays, and I'll start with the green one first. These are fabric journals, one signature. I'll try to give you a close up there. A lot of collaging. This is from her calendar. Um, tags and cards kit and aren't they gorgeous images some vintage trim here here and within the little snippet roll as well and then an old vintage button and that's the back of the journal love that so what I've done is I've just um, tied it closed with this sorry silk um, closure so as I said it's a one signature and in the front here I've got just this little notebook that I've made. Um, there's various um, ephemera from lots of different kits within here, but primarily it was to showcase um, Artie Mae's journaling cards and tags because I just love this. It's so beautiful, but like I said, I've just done a mix to fill it out. Um, lots of little tags, tea cards. Um, this is a little embellishment that I've created. And I've stuck that on with a bulb pen. And then over here I've done some stitching and just tucked in more little places for you to journal. And then on this page, this is a glassine. Um, there's three pockets within this. Another journal card. Sorry, I'm at a really strange angle. Um, I tried to show this and it's not working out too well. And then here is one of the faux tea tags that I did a tutorial on. And then a couple of other little things. Some collaging, um, stamping on some muslin, and then backed with some vintage trim there. A little um, bell here on a snippet uh, tab. Some grid paper. All the papers have been tea dyed. This is some French book page, vintage book page. That's an old um, I picked up I think two French books and two German books recently so that was really really nice to get those. And then here I've just got uh, various journaling cards and ephemera pieces and then this is a little collaged tag in a, um, or journal card within that pocket. And some more um, collage in there. A fabric ruffle here. Lots of writing places. Um, the pages, some of the pages I've taken and done some script stamping so it's really subtle. This is a paper ruffle that I did and that flips out. This is uh, some scrapbooking paper. I've run through the embossing machine, so you've got a really nice uh, design there. And another little bee charm I've added. This is an old vintage uh, flower book page. And here I've done um, the Tim Holtz fold fo photo die. <laughs> and um, and then behind that, I've tucked in a couple of little mini Rolodex, Rolodex cards. And then this opens up and you've got one of the little seed packet envelopes that you can add something to. And then back here I've done another tag with some uh, stitching around that. And then I've just pinned that to stay closed with a little Tim Holtz. Um, one of the tiny paper clips. Some Edith Holden paper. 
This is some Artie Mays Eco Dyed Papers. I love those, and I just punched it out there. And then here is just another little flip out that I've sewn with the machine. Uh, this is another little tuck spot there. And this is a little, um, these are some more of Artie Mays. And then this is a little tuck journal card I've made. So you can do some writing on the back of those. Those are tucked in there. The two journals are very similar. Um, there's, it's just the colors are slightly different. This is one of my tea bag, um, altered tea bag pockets. It's been collaged. So I'll, um, the next one I'll just go through really quickly, just so you can have a, a peek at it. And then at the center of the signature, I've added some glass beads. This is um, one of the big envelopes. And I've just tucked in another journal card inside there. Beautiful image. That's from Artie May's um, Touch of Spring. So I've just kind of done a collaboration of, of her stuff um, and some other um, bits and pieces I had in my stash. But um, here is another little, it's another tuck tag type. So that's tucked there. And then here... Um, is one of my um, music sheet um, envelopes. Uh, there's nothing inside, but um, the paper clip is just like a little snippet. Um, Touch of Sparkle. This was inspired by. She did some little snippet um, paper clips. So thank you very much for that. I try to remember. It's so difficult because when you're following like 200 people, and I am subscribed to almost 200, I really do struggle um, to keep that clear, but I do remember that because it's a recent thing that I've, I've found. So, um, some more of the Eco Paper, Edith Holden, some uh, tea dye tracing paper, another fabric ruffle. And then a couple more little tags from my stash. And another um, fabric snippet uh, tab. And then this is a file folder um, that I've just... you got a pocket here that you can put some things in. You've got one, two pockets here, a pocket here. This flips over, you got another pocket here. And then this flips over, you got a tuck spot and then a nice little writing space there. And then a pocket on this side as well. And there's an alteration tag and then another little um, journal card. And I've just pinned this in, or you know, clipped it in with one of the bulldog, um, the little mini bulldog clips. Some more embossing um, done on that. And then here I've done one of the, um, I've got the punch for this doily, so I've just made two tuck spots within it. So you've got, this is from Artie Mae's Touch of Spring, and that one is as well. So I've tucked those in there, and then this is another bit of ephemera from my stash. And then on the back here, a couple more little journal cards there tucked in. Um, some music sheet. And then a couple more. This is another Artie Mays. Um, I believe that was from the Nature Walk kit. I love the fact, um, you know, hers all can intermix really most of it. Well, I think all of the kits I've worked with are uh, perfect for that. And then here's another little circle journal card. French book page. Another bit of a snippet um, tab. And then here's another couple of pockets full of um, little different um, tags and journal cards. And then this is a dimensional 
butterfly so it's it's really nice because it lies flat when you're not using it and back here this is one of the tags from the um, kit and then I've put in two other journal cards here with some vintage trim so done and then this is one of the junk mailers and I've just uh, stitched that within so that that is permanent and I love the look of that absolutely love it so there you go guys that's the first one I've been so busy I haven't even named these so I apologize I normally have done that by now but I've just been in such a rush to try to get these completed because it's been forever in the making. I love this one. love this material. Uh, the colors are, you know, I'm really drawn to turquoise. So, um, And this image is just beautiful. It's very much like the English style houses. I love the big button. Um, lots of little snippets of lace, vintage lace I've picked up at uh, flea markets and car boots here and then inside here we've got the same thing a pocket just full of um, lots of little things another little notepad I've made here with scrappy paper and then in the back of all of this I should have showed you that's all been embossed so um, there's a big pocket back here and then there's a pocket here um, another pocket there. So there's four pockets on this front and I guess I didn't really show that on the other journal so I apologize for that. But there's actually four pockets on this very front page so you've got lots of room to tuck things in and I love these. There will be a tutorial for that tomorrow guys. I'm going to do a little create with me um, and show you how to make those. Super simple. Another little tag and various um, things to journal on. Love this paper. This is a nice. You could color in if you if you choose to do so. Um, just various papers from my stash. Another little faux tea tag. This is one of Artie Mae's free tags. Isn't that beautiful? And this is another from her, uh, I believe that's the Floral Tags collection from Artie Mays. And then this is an old Edith uh, Holden stationery set I picked up, gosh, years ago before I even got into junk journaling. I picked that up. And then back here I've just got another little uh, journal card. Fabric snippet tab. Here I've included a... Um, Wallpaper pocket. If you follow me on Instagram, you, I, one day I just spent making loads of these out of old vintage um, wallpaper, and I love how those have come out. This is another of the um, cards from this kit, and I love those. They're so, um, they're just beautiful. So this is just a floating pocket, and uh, you can move that within the journal wherever you want. I've been attached it to another French book page. And then scrapbook paper with another fabric ruffle. I love that paper. It's kind of got a uh, mother of pearl type pearlized finish there. Here's another one of these. Um, it's, it's got the Tim Holtz. Uh, photo die and then inside I've got another seed packet so you can add something to that. It's tucked in that little pocket. I really enjoyed making these. Um, this was some old um, oh it, it almost looked like an address book but it was all handwritten but the papers are beautifully aged so I picked that up and have taken that all apart now. This is another fabric ruffle. This is an envelope that I tea dyed and just added another little journal card to. Got a little bell on here and that's a fabric snippet tab. Some more paper. Um, altered tea bag pocket there with some stamping on muslin and a little die cut butterfly. 
that flips out for extra writing. This is um, another one of Artie Mae's pockets. This is from the Touch of uh, Spring kit. And then inside I've included another journaling card. Love that little bunny. He is adorable. Here's another tag. Look up. This is memories. The center of the signature, and there's some glass beads. A lot of writing space, guys. Here I put another um, wallpaper um, envelope. That's there's nothing in it, so I've just pinned that in there. You can add some items to that. And here's the other side of this. Um, let me just show you from this side. There's a journal card um, that peeks through, and this is part of that kit. I believe they're calendar tags and journal cards is the name of the kit. I'll put the link below for that. And a fabric ruffle. Here I've just got a little printed out guest check that I've just collaged up there and a couple little journal tags. Edith Holden. Um, another one of their music sheet envelopes. And then here is a layaway tag and another little stamped tag. French book page. And this is another one of the big file folders here. You've got journaling cards in here. You've got three in there. And there's various in here and the little circle journal card and then these as well. So I've just folded that over this page and this page does flip out and just clipped that in. And here is a um, fabric snippet tab with some beads. That's a Miss Cog idea with the little beads on the safety pin. Thank you Miss Cog for that. And here's a um, tag and a couple more journal cards back here. And the same thing, I've just stitched that within there um, so that that's just a permanent um, image. And then I wanted these so that they would just, just show coming out of the pocket. So there you go. Yeah, I'm really really happy with how both of these journals have come out. It's been a while getting them done with everything going on, but I'm really pleased. They feel wonderful. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really glad to be back to working with the fabric. So, okay guys, that's it for today. I've got a um, Create With Me uh, tutorial coming up tomorrow, so I will look forward to seeing you guys then. Have a great rest of the day. Bye.